Hey there guys, this is Brian Furlong with Diamond Dreams Baseball and Softball Academy. Uh, just going to do a little slow motion video analysis of Josh Beckett. I captured this footage in Boston um, this past summer. Uh, was fortunate enough to get to Fenway for a game and grab some slow motion video footage while I was there. So we're going to take a look at one of the game's best power pitchers. Um, just looking at the video, you guys can see that the the quality of the picture is is down a little bit that's because I'm shooting this with a high-speed camera I believe this one was at 480 frames per second so it slows things down dramatically um, which is important when you're looking at uh, you know baseball movements um, pitching throwing a baseball is one of the fastest movements that occurs in sports so if we would have taken this with a just a typical camcorder, which generally records at about 30 frames per second, um, Beckett's arm would have been a blur as he accelerated forward. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'll take you through. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to look at some checkpoints, and then we're going to talk about different phases and what we want to look at in those phases. So the first checkpoint is going to be his set position. Um, you can see he's got good posture through here, standing nice and tall. Uh, he's got his hands set a little bit lower, um, basically at the belt. Shoulders are relaxed, elbows are down. His feet, he has his feet uh, inside shoulder width, um, so he's pretty much right up and down here. And you can see he's in the stretch position. He's got a runner on first base right there. So the next thing that he's going to do is he's going to move into his energy gathering phase. That's basically uh, his knee lift. So we'll go ahead and play here. Knee lifts up and back slightly towards his throwing shoulder. Okay, And you can see that he actually started moving forward a little bit um, as his knee was still lifting up. Um, he basically brought this knee towards his throwing shoulder slightly, exposing his back hip pocket right here. So he's got his back hip pocket pointing towards his target. And as he moves into his drive phase, which is the next phase here, he's going to lead with that back hip pocket. All right, so we'll go ahead and let him continue. He's moving down that line. You see that glove side working out towards his target. And bang. Okay, so... I missed it right there, but hit the next checkpoint is foot strike. Okay, so this is also known as power position. Uh, it's basically right when that front foot lands and where the rest of his body is. Um, he went through his drive phase. He got to he got to his foot strike position. You see, he took his glove side uh, elbow uh, directly towards his target, getting his body in line with the catcher. Um, at this position with foot strike, you've got something that, that people refer to as equal and opposite elbows. Tom House kind of coined that term. So his elbows are kind of mirror images of each other. And there's two different things that you're looking at there. You're looking at position of elbows. So his, his shoulders are basically straight across right here. You're also going to look at the angles of your elbows. Okay, so his angles are pretty close. It's tough to tough to see from this angle what what that elbow uh, position is, but this one's about a 90 degree angle. So most good pitchers are going to have equal and opposite elbows. That's where he's at right there. From here, from power position, he's going to move into his acceleration phase. And in the acceleration phase, uh, you're going to take a look at his arm action. You're going to see. Uh, his arm lay back flat into exter maximum external rotation. And then you're also going to notice uh, his hips. This hip right here is going to drive forward, rotating his, his torso and shoulders, which is going to then bring the arm forward. So look, we'll go ahead and let him accelerate. So he's accelerating forward. And boom, that's, that's actually release point. I'll go ahead and take it back. There's maximum external rotation, and that's just what's happening in his arm, how it lays back flat. You're going to see most big league pitchers are going to have a lot of external rotation right there. Um, this is going to come from flexibility and mobility within the joint. A lot of this occurs um, 
you know, just due to the nature of throwing a baseball over and over and over again, um, things change within your joint, you know, bones change so that he's able to have this kind of flexibility. This isn't normal flexibility that's in every um, human being's arm. Pitchers kind of uh, develop this by repeating this motion over and over and over again. Okay, so right here, as he's accelerating, and this, these next few frames, frames and I'll kind of... Uh, move it along slowly so you can see our this is the fastest motion that happens in sports what's happening with his arm right now is the fastest most violent movement that occurs um, that's kind of the big reason why a lot of pitchers deal with arm injuries because your arm is being subjected to extremely violent forces and you've got small muscles tendons and ligaments in your shoulder and your elbow that are taking the brunt of those forces. So he accelerates and now the next point of interest here is going to be our release point. Now he is releasing the ball looks like right here so that's ahead of his front foot which is atypical most big league pitchers. Okay, so that's most, you know, great pitchers in the world release at about their front foot. Uh it's only really the powerful pitchers they get that ball coming out ahead of their front foot. Uh, you'll see, you know, guys like Tim Linscum, Araldus Chapman for sure. Um, basically, guys who are throwing 95 miles an hour up are releasing ahead of their front foot. So that's something that you want to try and teach your pitchers to do is to get that release point all the way out front, front of that front foot. So for for this position here, and you can also take a look. Um, his glove, this is his glove right here, has turned and tucked back towards his body, but it's not going to move back past his body. So he's keeping a firm glove side, strong on his target, maintaining that connection with, with the catcher's mitt there. Uh, from here, after this checkpoint, he's basically going to enter his deceleration phase. Now, in the deceleration phase, you're going to look for um, the big follow through, and then you're going to watch as his torso continues to power down into that front side as the, the, the transfer of energy completes and works into that front leg. So I'll go ahead and let, let him finish there. All right, and there's the big follow through with the arm. You see the back side come through uh, right there. Back was flat. He's actually now starting to stand back up. And this back leg is coming through, and he's going to finish squared towards his target. So the, the final checkpoint is basically the finish and follow through. We'll let him get a little bit further. I think in this clip he actually stands up so it doesn't look like there's a line drive coming back at him. But he's, he's basically squared with his target, maybe a little bit falling off to the side. There's a lot of power pitchers do just because of uh, the amount of rotational force they get through their hips. Um, but he's in a pretty good position. You know, he could field his position from there. Um, he did finish with a flat back before he started to stand up, and he is squared to his target, so he got his backside through. Um, what I'll do here now is I'll just pull this back, and I'll let it run one time continuously, and we'll kind of talk through it. So there's his energy gather phase, balance point, going into his drive phase. The next point that you're going to look for is that foot strike, power position, acceleration, release point, deceleration, finish and follow through. So there is uh, just a quick breakdown of Josh Beckett, one of the premier power pitchers of our generation. Um, kind of how he does things in his delivery and why he's been able to um, be successful for, for so long.